Taylor series expansion is goaded. Okay, here's a limit problem, and I have also attached a picture of my prediction Brooke Taylor and the goat. Yeah, just to visualize things. And uh, let's get with this integral, right? Okay, definitely let me let me say what's on your mind right now. Okay, so what you might be thinking is because like as n goes to infinity, one by n goes to zero, right? And sine of theta is equals to theta for theta going to zero, right? So what you like most of you might be thinking is to do this limit. Uh, what you can do is this is limit n goes to infinity of n times. So you can just write this as one over n, one over n square minus n, and that means n, n minus n. So that basically is infinity times again infinity minus infinity. That's just two indeterminants in there, and yeah, there there's no way it's gonna simplify, right? This is not the way, guys. So, the way is to use Taylor series. So, let's see how that can be helpful. I guess all of you know that sine theta is theta minus theta cubed by 3 factorial plus theta to the power 5 by 5 factorial minus theta to the power 7 by 7 factorial and so on, right? So, we're going to use this thing. If we use the Taylor series, oh, our limit can be written as n times, uh, that will just be 1 by n minus 1 by 6 times n cubed plus uh, in the order of 1 by n to the power 5, right? Divided by, uh, that will be 1 by n square uh, minus 1 by 6 n to the power 6 plus in the order of 1 by n to the power 10th, right? And then minus n. Now if I multiply by n, and then also take the LCM, right? Uh, what I will get is this will be 1 minus 6n square plus order of 1 by n to the power 4. And then this is n times n, n square, right? So now if I uh, try to merge, I mean, if I try to merge denominator here, if I, I mean, if I try to, I mean, if I try to add this term with the fraction, so I will get. Uh, minus 1 plus 1 by 6 n to the power 4 and then order of 1 by n to the power 8th right whole over uh, 1 by n square minus 1 by 6 n to the power 6 plus order of 1 by n to the power 10th so here 1 cancels out we get limit n goes to infinity of minus 1 by 6 n square and then uh, this other term is of order 1 by n to the power 4. So I can just write this whole thing as order of 1 by n to the power 4, right? But now this is just 1 by n square minus, I can write this as order of 1 by n to the power 6, right? Okay. So now limit n goes to infinity. If I just multiply numerator and denominator by n square, I have minus 1 by 6 plus order of 1 by n square. And then 1 minus order of 1 by n to the power 4th, right? Now at infinity, uh, both of these 1 by n square and 1 by n to the power 4, those will just go to 0, right? So I will have minus 1 by 6 plus 0 by 1 minus 0, and that's just minus 1 by 6. And that's the limit, guys. This was actually pretty easy. Like... Besides using Taylor series, there's really nothing complicated. Yeah? So, so it's just the fact that you use Taylor series, you, you get that idea, and then just do some algebra and nothing more. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed this problem. And if yes, do so with the friends too. And thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos as well.